All right, that's just one of our packets of pizza dough. Now I have got some defrosted meatballs here that I am just placing in here. I think mine are beef. These ones happen to be gluten-free, but you can use pork if you like, spicy. You can always make your own. I'm just showing you a quick and easy way to do this. Now that I've got all my meatballs in place, I'm gonna come in with my marinara sauce. I'm using Rao's because it is my favorite and I always buy it when it's on sale. But of course you can use whatever kind you like. If you like Arabiata, Arabiata Marty or Arbiata, Ar Arabata. I think you had it, it sounded right the first time. Arabiata, the spicy one. Ooh, that's so good, I like that one. Sometimes it gives me a little bit of heartburn but it's really, really tasty. So I totally enjoy that one. We're making a super easy, hearty, delicious dinner. Could be an appetizer for a party. This is gonna be really easy, really yummy. I'm just gonna put a little extra sprinkle of Italian seasoning on here. This part's totally optional. Obviously there's seasoning in the sauce. Now I'm using my mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna put, you know, a pinch of cheese or so on top of each of these. Make it as cheesy as you like. You can always use something stronger like Asiago if you prefer. This is such a fun, you know what? This would be so great too. Football season is upon us. You might have people over to watch the game on Sunday. This is a great, way to feed a group or you can make these all yourself you can keep them in the fridge for a couple days in the freezer pop them in when you just need a little something on the go pop them in the oven warm them up all right that is looking beautiful now i've got a second pizza crust here and what i'm going to do is just unroll this here we're going to get this all the way unrolled this brand, we've liked them. They have puff pastry as well, just roll. I got these at Smith's or Kroger. I'm sure they have them other places, but you can use any brand of pizza dough that you like. However you like it will work out perfectly. And this is the best part about this. Okay, so I got this still on my little baking paper here. Pressing this down on the top there. Love that, Mar that was Marty's brilliant idea when I was putting it on top of the, the first one on top of the, you know, muffin tin. Marty was like, just leave it on the paper and flip it that way. Cause you know, obviously it gets a little sticky sometimes getting it off there. Now I'm just gonna kind of cut my excess off here at the edges. I'm gonna get rid of this. You can keep it for something else if you prefer. Y'all, I just told Marty, oh, it's a little hard to do this, hard to see the seams here. <laughs> and Marty said, you know, he did something like this himself and he was like, yeah, it was tough. And if Marty says that, then that makes me feel a little better because Marty is such a wonderful, proficient cook. If y'all know my husband, Marty, shout out. Marty M is his page. He makes great recipes. He is so sweet and kind to me and I'm so appreciative of him. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna very carefully do our little seam here. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I took a, I took a gander down below here. Oh, <laughs> y'all, This if, if this was a test, you, oh my goodness. You got like a B plus. Oh, thank you. This one was an, this one was an A. This one, well, yeah. we, we faltered a little bit on the second side. Last Crusade, yeah. Oh, we were doing so well. B. We were doing you so lost, well. Okay, you I'll lost your B. Plus. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I've got a little bit of just melted butter here, a little bit of more Italian seasoning. Mixing this all up. I'm gonna brush these guys. All righty, now that we've got our little tic-tac-toe looking board here, what I'm gonna do is pull in these corners. Look at that. We're making a little dumple in here. It's gonna be tasty, tasty, tasty. I 
and I love that you can do so many different fun things in the muffin tin. Doesn't just have to be for sweets. You can make a savory, hearty, delicious meal or appetizer, whichever way you see this. I feel like you can make a meal out of this, that's just me. I'm just gonna do a little bit more butter onto the top of these. Alrighty, I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350. I'll let you know how long they need. Alrighty, we had these bacon for, what do you think, Marty, like 30 minutes? Yeah. 25, 30? So anyway, they look and smell absolutely incredible. I'm so ex Oh, look at how easy that's coming out. I got a big serving plate here. Just, I brought this just in case, but I don't even think we need it. The pizza dough is a hero, so strong. Just completely holding up there. Look how good these little meatball pizza muffins look. Yum! Only thing left to do, put a little extra marinara out for dipping. Perfect. So let's pop one of these bad boys onto a plate and see what we've got. Cut this open, moment of truth. Ooh, yum. All right, time to give this a dip. Perfect to serve for game day. Easy dinner, good to just keep in the fridge. Y'all gotta try it.